Hello ladies and gentlemen, Canadian Duke here with my trade day results. Um, my trade day was not as successful as I was hoping, unfortunately. The only guy we got trades for was Henrik Zetterberg. Um, I guess I kind of expected it, nobody's really worth that much. Um, if I do one in the future, I will definitely have um, higher rated players um, that are worth more and hopefully I have more subscribers so more people will see. But we got four trades for Henrik Zetterberg. That's all we got, unfortunately. Nobody else. So I'm going to go right into those. So I looked at a couple at the trades already to figure out how much people are worth and what's worth what. So this trade, um, Andre Padan, Padan, sorry, the defensive Datsuk, plus two captain, or captain plus two all, sorry, and 2,500 pucks. Not gonna cut it. Sorry to whoever sent that. <laughs> Yes, they want to reject that offer. Second trade, Zach Parisi, because that's what he wants to be called, and the defensive Zatsuk, Andre Padan again. Um, I'm going to delay that offer. It's one of my top two or top three. And then Corey Perry and Ryan Getzlaff. I like that trade. That's a good trade. Um, I'm going to delay that. And then uh, Louis Erickson, Michael Camilleri, uh, Yandel, and Giordano and zero pucks. If you throw in some pucks, maybe, but that trade is actually only worth around 17000 I know it seems like so much more, but honestly, Erickson's worth about nine. Camilleri was for about three or four. Um, Yandel goes for, regular Yandel goes for about four, and Giordano you can get for like 1k, so that's not very much. So I'm going to reject that. So it's down to the two, um... To the Getzlaff and Perry trade and the Parise Padan trade. So Parise is worth about a hundred and uh sorry, hundred and twenty thousand Padan you can get for like fifteen hundred. But so unfortunately I think I'm gonna deny that. That's Zetterberg you can get for about hundred and sixty cheap, hundred and fifty cheap. Yeah, about hundred and fifty. I saw one that sold for hundred and fifty thousand. So I'm gonna reject this. That's just not enough for me. So that leaves Corey Perry and Ryan Getzlaff. Um, this is a tough one because Getzlaff goes for about 65, Perry goes for about 80, 85. So that equals around 150. But I don't know. I'm, I'm still struggling to decide. I think I'm going to go accept this offer. I don't want to reject every offer. I want to give somebody my Zetterberg. So I'm going to accept this offer. Take those two players on. Um... Yeah, so I, I actually might use these guys. I think I think I'm gonna send them to my uh, to my team for now. Use them for a little bit. Yeah, see, our Perry sold for eighty last time, and oh, guess I've sold for a hundred now. Um, I think he, I saw one go for sixty five, but it says fifty is the highest, so that's not bad. Um, I'll send these to my roster and I'll put them on my team, use them a little bit, see how they do. If they work out well, I'll keep them if not, and no big deal. But anyways guys, that is it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll do one of these in the future when I have more better players. Um, so yeah, leave a like if you guys enjoyed, of course. Subscribe if you want to see more NHL content and other stuff. Almost at 100 subscribers. Hopefully I'm there by the end of the weekend. That would be awesome. But have an awesome night guys. See ya.